Good afternoon, everyone. Our paper focuses on sketch-based image retrieval, and we use partware attributes to enhance our model. And here are the authors of our work, which are jointly from Queen Mary University of London and Beijing University of Post and Telecommunications. Sketches are usually are naturally fine-grained in its descriptive power. Suppose you want to retrieve an aircraft image. One way you can do this is to use pure text, which is usually not desirable, since not everyone is capable of using uh, technical terms to describe a plane. But this task is becoming much easier when you draw a sketch. Uh, another motivation is that we believe fine-grained sketch-based image retrieval, SBIR, is most likely to underpin practical commercial adoptions However, one main reason that stalls the development of it is that its a lack of purpose built fine grained SBIR dataset to drive systematic research, and our work specifically focuses on this problem. Why is fine grained SBIR so difficult? Freehand sketches are highly abstract and iconic, and can be further deteriorated, deteriorated by various freehand drawing styles. Fine-grained correspondence between sketches and images is difficult to establish, especially given the abstract and cross-domain nature of the problem. Our contribution is mainly the following. We propose a fine-grained SBIR shoe dataset with freehand human sketches and photos, as well as fine-grained attribute annotations. Also, we propose a part-aware paradigm that allows fine-grained attributes detection. We propose a synergistic three-level representation that proves to be crucial to improve the performance of fine-grained SBIR. Our dataset is fine-grained, which means sketches and images have fine-grained inner detail correspondence. That is to say, we are matching on an instance level. For each shoe sketch, we have three images, which is drawn by three different people, exactly resembling the ex the real-world appli application. Our proposed dataset has 304 images and 912 freehand human sketches, with each image saving three fine-grained correspondings, which are fully annotated with comprehensive part attributes and bounding box. One reason that drives us to use a part-aware approach is that attribute co occurrence patterns may differ from what is observed in training given part-based attributes. For example, in our training case, a high heel shoe is often co-occurred with a toe-closed attribution, while in our test case, this changed. However, since the race of correlation issue, which means our classifier may learn the high heel attributes instead of the toe attribute, thus given a high heel sandal query, just like the, the right one, uh, the classifier will fail to do the classification. Uh, there are two possible solutions. One is to use the framework of attribute decorrelation, and the other one is to use the, is to use the part aware attributes. And in our work, we adopt the second solution. Our part aware, uh, part -aware paradigm is to, use gen is to generate a representation for both image and sketches. This is quite clear by seeing the slides. Of course, we use three view CCA to combine uh, low-level hop feature uh, with mid-level structural feature and a high-level uh, attribute feature, which are all extracted on a part-level uh, basis. Uh, and uh, also, our synergistic cross-domain representation boosts the performance of fine-grained SBIR, which proves that the low-level, mid-level, and high-level feature are essential for pro producing more meaningful retrieval results. Uh, this slide shows that some examples are wrongly detected while using the whole, age, whole image input, uh, but uh, have been co corrected by our part-aware model. Uh, this shows some ranking retrieval results given a probe sketch. Our part aware model delivers sensible results discriminating the fine grain variation on an instance level. Red tick, the red tick 
indicates ground truth match. This ultimately confirms that our partware method indeed contributes for a better fine grained SBIR performance. And uh, this is our presentation. If you have further problems, please contact the author through this email.